In order to use the Manipulate Bones tool, you need to have a boned character in your scene. When you first start Anime Studio, a default bone character appears in the scene. If you don't want to use the default character, you can add Jace to any open project from the library. Choose Window Library to open the library window. From the Characters category, locate Jace. You can either drag and drop Jace into the scene, or click the double check mark at the bottom of the library window to add him to the scene. Close the library after you add the character. Jace appears in the scene as a bone group. The various parts of the body appear in different layers beneath this bone group. However, in order to display the skeleton, you need to select the top layer, which has a bone icon displayed. The Manipulate Bones tool will be enabled when you select the bone layer. Click to select the Manipulate Bones tool, then click and drag one of the bones in the character to move the body part to the desired position. Keep in mind that any changes you make in frame 0 will not be animated. You can advance the timeline to a later frame, such as frame 18, and then reposition one or more bones. When you move between frames, you will see those body parts animated.